Least amount of homes listed for sale ever. New Hampshire home buyers, what is going on? It must be frustrating for you all. I understand it. However, I have some good news. We are now into the season that it gets easier to be a buyer. There is a tremendous lack of sellers. That is why the market is in the situation that, is it, that it is in. And the majority of the reason that we're seeing a lack of sellers is many sellers are saying, I don't want to sell and give up my interest rate. I want to keep the interest rate that I have. I understand. I get it. Let me show you some reporting, and I'm going to give home buyers and home sellers some advice throughout this video. So let's jump on here and first show you this report that we had put out. First half of 2023, least amount of homes listed. Now, I don't mean a snapshot of homes for sale. This particular report, we're talking about the least amount actually put up for sale. Follow me here. If I scroll down, we have Massachusetts, Connecticut, New Hampshire, South Florida. I'm going to click on New Hampshire. Let me peek and make sure you all can see this. Okay, let's talk about this image. Now, if you look at the bars, this shows first quarter and second quarter, green and orange. You can see both quarters, least amount of homes listed ever in the first quarters. But now if we look at the quarters collectively and look at the first half of the year, folks, we're right around 9,000 homes listed for sale in Southern, I'm sorry, in New Hampshire in the first half of the year. Last year was more like 12 or 13,000. During the 05, 06, 07, um, really what brought us into the 08 crisis, 25, 20,000 homes listed for sale. There's just a tremendous lack and it's for the reasons that I mentioned. People don't wanna give their rate up. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, people don't want to give their rate up. And also people are getting concerned about where they're going to go. So I wanted to show you this report as the first report that I point out. Um, and I'd like to talk for a minute about, you know, what does this mean for buyers? What does this mean for sellers? Well, buyers, as I told you in my opening, we're entering the better season. We, we, are, we have entered the better season to buy a home. Best season to buy a home? Fall. No question. Summer, better season than it was in the spring when inventory is extremely tight. There would have been more inventory and inventory rising, and I'm going to show you that in a second. But in June, rates popped back up over 7%, and there were a lot of sellers that pulled back on the throttle with listing their home. Um, let's take a look at the mid-year report, and then I'll get into more of this in a deeper fashion. Okay. Here we go. Home sales down in New Hampshire, 20 call it, call it 21%. 4,400 homes sold compared to 5,600 a year ago. And folks, 5,600 in 2022 was down from 21. But remember, 21 was a historic, highly unusual, once in every 15 year, year. Okay, so keep that in mind. But home sales now, now we're over correcting and we're going back down the other way. Sales are down 21%. Average prices up 5.5%. Now that's more than Massachusetts. Massachusetts, I just did a report on that. Mass was up 1.7%. New Hampshire's beating it 5.5%. Why? Tremendous lack of little homes listed for sale. Look at this. So, so look at these graphics, right? I want to make sure everyone can see this on your screen. Hang on. Got to share this a little better. Okay. Hang on one second. So take a look at this. 21% down for homes sold, 22 almost percent homes listed down. So inventory is being eaten up very quickly. Properties are being listed and they're selling right away. Now, is this the identical scenario that it was two and three years ago? Not exactly. Don't be fooled. And I'll tell you, I'm finding that lots of realtors are getting fooled by that. They are. Um, some people are saying, there's just as much demand, there's just as much demand. No, there's not, that's a lie. There's not as much demand, and I shouldn't say that's a lie. That's a misstatement by any real estate professional that says that. It's not true. Um, we have many less homes getting listed, many less homes actually for sale. And actually, even though there's multiple offers, there's less offers than there were two years ago. So the demand is down. Interest rates are having the impact that the Fed wants to have. But there's such a constrained supply 
that that's why prices are not not only not going down, they're going up in New Hampshire. New Hampshire is doing better. Uh, I have to remember what Connecticut is. Not that it matters to everyone in New Hampshire, but now I just want to peek. And of course, my web browser is being slow. Yeah, New Hampshire folks actually performing even better. Connecticut's up 4.7%. So New Hampshire home prices being up 5.5%. That's the strongest in New England. Uh, and that's very impressive. But sales are down. So home sellers, what do you do? Don't get cocky. Don't overplay your hand, especially now that we're set, headed into this, that we're into the second part of the year. Homes do not sell for as much money in the second part of the year as they do the first part. It is what it is. That's facts, folks. Whether you like it or don't like it, I'm not a salesperson. I tell you the truth. Okay, I'm not trying to sell you on anything. At Lamakia Realty, myself and our realtors pride ourselves. Our marketing team team prides itself on educating the public on what is really, truly going on. If you're selling your home, don't push your luck. If the comparative properties in your neighborhood are around 700,000, list at 699, list at 689 and draw in even more people. Because the more people you draw in, the more you're going to sell it for and the more leverage you're going to have in the negotiation. If you're buying and selling at the same time, concerned about where you're going to go, well, if you get multiple offers on your home, keep in mind, you can negotiate a long t closing date. You can negotiate subject to seller finding suitable housing much easier when there's more offers. You go too high with your price, you cannot negotiate nearly as well and you do not have as much leverage. It's that simple. All right, home buyers and sellers, I hope that makes sense. I want to show you one more thing. Average prices, and you can see this data by logging on to nhrealestateupdates.com, folks. You can see this data. It's updated on a monthly basis. Marketing team does a phenomenal job. Look, will you look at that? Average price in New Hampshire, $565,000. Folks, I remember three years ago when it started going over 500, two years ago, I was astounded. Now we're at 565 in the month of June, okay? Think about that. A year ago in June, 518. For all those naysayers that said, Prices are going to fall out. Prices are going to fall out. It's all I've been hearing since the beginning of COVID. And I've been saying no. And let me tell you, when I think we're going to have some price fallout, I will be the first one to tell you. We're not there. Do I think we're going to see softening? Yes. Do I think in a year, prices are going to go up 5.5% again over the next 12 months? No, I do not. No, I do not. Because as rates come down, more sellers are going to list. It's going to add more supply to the market. But we're not going to see a fallout. A 2008 situation is not happening. We had 10, 15 times the inventory of homes for sale in 06, 07, 08, and that's what created that. Okay? So if you're a home seller, you can still sell your home this summer for a good price. Inventory has stayed unusually low for summer, and I think a lot of that has to do with interest rates going back over 7% in late June. If you're a home buyer, be happy. You're entering a better season to buy a home. That's all, folks. Good luck. Happy home buying. And you better be working with a Lamakia realtor if you want to buy a home or sell a home in the state of New Hampshire. No realtors out there have more data, more information at their fingertips, more training, and are more dedicated than the realtors at Lamakia Realty. That's all, folks. Thank you.